We're talking about using prime factorization to help with division using the example 210 over 1764. So I've previously factored 1764 and I see that it's 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 7. So I can put that on the bottom. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 7 times 7. And 210 we've done in a previous video is 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. Now you can notice here that we've got some matching bits. 2's, 3's, and 7's. We are left with the 5 on top. And we're left with 2 times 3 is 6 times 7 is 42 on the bottom. So this allows me to reduce this fraction quite easily without having to go through the old standard markout, which looked like this. I would say 2 goes into 210, 1, oh, 5 times, and 2 goes into 764 would be helpful if I write the correct number, wouldn't it? 2 goes into 1764, 8, 8, two times. And then proceed that way. Let's say three goes into 105, three five times, and three goes into 882, two, 94, and so on. And then we need a 7 into each one, and this would become a real mess. It's the same principle. This is just much prettier and much more helpful when you get to doing polynomials and rational functions.